Governor, mahirap din kasi yung pangalan. So, but I will try to give justice. Okay, so our speaker for today took his guest agriculture major in agronomy at Central Mindanao University, Bukit in 2010. Uh, just recently, uh, he finished his MS in Tropical Plant and Soil Sciences at the University of Hawaii at Manau Manoa, Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, where he also served as graduate research assistant in the same university. And currently, uh, he is taking his MS in Horticulture minor in Plant Genetic Resources at UPL. Ayaw po kasi niyang tumigil mag Okay, he has been working as University Research Associate in CPMB uh, since 2013. His research involvement is on the promotion and utilization of edible landscaping technology on selected indigenous and endemic plants and also urban horticulture, as well as in vegetables production. Uh, for today, he will discuss with us the result of his research study about using single node cuttings instead of the recommended four cuttings for Pau Hiiyaka than in Hawaii, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Mr. Darrell Kemp Solde Antesco. for being able to me be able to share uh, my thesis study that I conducted at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. So today I'll be sharing with you uh, the second part of my thesis entitled Evaluation of Single and Four Nodes Stem Cutting uh, as Propagation Material for the Six Obsessions of Pau Iyaka, Jackie Montella, Samuel Census, and A grade. On your left, on your left, it's actually the, it is a photo of the path. It's a coastal perennial vine. And then on your right, you might wonder why the name of the plant is, is Pauliaka. It actually, uh, the, the name Pauliaka li literally translate, translates to uh, skirt of Iyaka. Got it? Uh, Pauliaka means skirt of Iyaka. Iyaka is the younger sister of Pelin, the mother of creation, and the goddess of volcanoes in the mythology of Hawaiian people. So, so if you've seen the Moana movie, if you know Tipiti, Tipiti is the equivalent of Pelin, and the younger sister is Iyaka. And then the plant she is wearing is called Pau Iyaka. Right? Now, uh, before I proceed with my presentation, uh, allow me to share a very short video about uh, native Hawaiian plants and research going on in Hawaii about native Hawaiian plants and in landscape. Guided research project is sprouting in the middle of UH Manoa. College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources researcher Orville Valdos and his students have planted three kinds of native Hawaiian plants around Barney Circle. This definitely is important so we can show the different natives that we can use in the landscape and also to increase awareness to um, other people so they can see uh, the possibilities of utilizing natives within their landscapes and gardens. Besides adding to the daily enjoyment of the campus community, the new plantings provide living examples of native dry coastal and dry forest plants for educational purposes, and will also allow Baldos and his students to collect data for the landscaping industry. If people forget that native plants can be used in landscaping, and native plants can be beautiful. Ilima has beautiful flowers. Um, Veil Veil has uh, great leaves on it, so okay. By having this demonstration site, the landscape industry can take a look at uh, what other uh, plant materials are available, and then eventually they can expand uh, their landscape planting and have more variety in, in, in the landscape. While the project may be important to Hawaii's $520 million landscape industry, it is also deeply personal to some. This is important to me because I, as a native client, I want to increase 
the awareness of the native Hawaiian plants and the ability for people to utilize them. Uh, there you have it. In case you miss it, uh, landscaping is a 500 million US dollar industry in Hawaii. And then there's a need to increase the use of native plants uh, to be incorporated in landscaping and also to increase awareness and uh, uh, what, uh, to demonstrate the uses of native Hawaiian plants. So, on my next slide, I'll be showing you uh, where Hawaii is located. So, wait. There we go. So Hawaii is actually a group of tiny, uh, small islands in a vast Pacific Ocean. So its isolation uh, makes it possible to have uh, unique plants. So composing of, for the case of native Hawaiian flowering plants, as each one families over 1,000 genera with uh, uh, 264 of its are uh, original colonizers. So there, there are actually uh, eight major islands in Hawaii. The Hawaii Big Island, Kaolave, Maui, Nanahi, Mudokai, Oahu, Kauai, and Niihau. Uh, 